Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be drawing a dog called a... Berger Picard. Yeah, it's called a Berger Picard. It's French and German. Or something like that. Anyway, it's the type of dog that's the star in the movie Because of Wind Dixie. Mm -hmm. And we'll tell you more about that as we start drawing. So, grab a marker and some colored pencils and join us for drawing. Mm -hmm. So to draw this cute dog from Winn-Dixie, we are going to draw two circles for the eyes. And try to make them around the same size as each other. And if one's a little higher than the other, that's okay. I think this side is actually supposed to be a little bit higher, but... I did wrong. No, it's fine. It does, it, that doesn't even matter. Okay, and then you'll want to leave some highlights in there. So you make like another circle inside of it. And then make kind of a little rectangle shape and a little square shape. And then fill in the rest. I think my rectangle too as well. That's okay. Reflections can be totally however. Okay. So now the nose, you make kind of a rainbow shape down there. And then bring it together. Have it get smaller down there. And then we're gonna leave a highlight in the nose. Yeah. So the highlight goes across the bridge of, the, uh, well, it goes along the tip of the dog's nose. All right, so right here, we're gonna draw some cute little tufts of fur, and it can kind of go up and then down. You can add just little lines, cute. And then, <laughs> bless you. Under this eye, we're gonna draw these little dark furry patches. And then under this eye too. And then right above this eye, we're gonna draw that little patch of fur, and that little patch of fur. Some more fur. Now you said when Dixie has a little smile, right? Basically. And that's what this cute dog has. So it's kind of like a shallow smile, like this. And then it's kind of got like this dimple on the end. That's a dimple? Uh, I don't know how to describe it some kind of crease, and then the fur kind of comes out of the mouth. Just really short though. So just draw little short fur lines coming out of the mouth. That's cute, buddy. Okay, and then there's a little patch of fur there. I mean, there's fur all over his face, but there's just specific spots we're gonna draw it on. Like along here. And here. And here. And here. 
So we've got one tuft here, and then he has so much hair inside the ear that there's not like a specific ear spot like there is on other dogs. But his ear is a triangular shape and just with jagged furry lines you go up and then as you come back down the fur goes out that way. So I'm going to do one more big tuft of hair right there. And then, okay, so look at his eye. And then do a tuft of hair coming out right there. And then right here, it goes up. And then right here where that tuft of hair ends is where it starts going out like a cheek. And then when it curves back in, once you get down here, that tuft of hair is going to go out again. And it's going to connect with kind of like a mane. I don't know <laughs> how to describe it. And go to here and then just leave this for a little bit and then come back up to the top of the head. Okay, so we're going to have the, the space in between the two ears be from here to like right up from the eye. So make just a furry little line right there till right before the edge of this eye. Okay, perfect. And then the ear makes this kind of shape. It's a little more curved than the other ear. Comes in. And then the tufts of hair go down right here. And then right when you're about to the eye, it goes in again. And then you'll curve it for a cheek. And then bring it down in again. And it comes out for to meet up with that mane. Okay, and then... I need to race. No, it looks so good. Okay, now we're gonna do a tuft of hair this way. And then the inside of this ear is like this. And then one more right here. And then if you have room, like I do, you can just draw the rest of the body to the bottom of the page. Okay, now it's time to color. Okay, so for coloring, you'll wanna grab some light browns tans and grays and maybe even some reddish brown if you've got those colors or just gray and brown if that's all you have okay so i think doing a light brown under the smile is a good place to start I'll hand you that light brown. And then for the bright spots, I'm using a tan. And when you're using your pencil, try to think about the hair, the fur, I mean, on the dog and try to do your strokes the way the fur goes. So like, you were doing it great. So down, you have, want your strokes to be going down from this part, but from here, the hair goes outwards and upwards here, and then 
this way. So you want your pencil strokes to follow the hair strokes, the hair pattern, okay? So here's the tan back. And then there's a lot of gray and we're gonna use it as shadow. So like color hard on your gray, like especially right here. And don't try to do like hard lines. Try to do soft, meticulous coloring that's staying where you want it and not going crazy. Because you want the fur to kind of all blend together. So this gray gets lighter as it goes down. <coughs> I think I need to resharpen that for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And then I've got this dark brown, it's like almost black. And I'm just gonna do a few shadows here. So it's nice and dark up in that crease by a smile on both sides. And then up in here in his ears pretty dark and then right next to this tuft of hair is a shadow and here is a shadow tips of his ear of shadow. There's a little shadow under here. So just like follow my shadows that I do. Okay, I'll let you have a turn with that dark. I'm gonna do some more light brown coloring. I'll try not to block my picture so that you can see it while I'm coloring. So what do you remember about this book? Um, you read it in fourth grade, right? Yeah. I remember when she found Win Dixie in the market. So that happened in the book, not just in the movie? No. Oh yeah, it happened in the book. In the book. And the... The store was called Gwendexie, I think. Oh, that's funny. And she, um, he was a stray dog. Mm -hmm. And she made up a name so that the manager wouldn't do something with him. And she said that he was hers. Wow, that's so sweet. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the kids, the fourth grade kids over at Salina Elementary. They just finished reading Win dixie and that's what inspired us to actually draw this today. So thank you, and I hope you're having fun drawing with us. I'd say there's even some yellows in it if you wanna do any yellow. Like along the top. I think there's a bit on the edges. Okay. And then um, I'd say more tan throughout. Right now I'm going to do this brown. I had to sharpen it because my sharpener was eating up my pencil. I had to sharpen it on the other side just now. Do I just do this everywhere? I'd say so. 
So your shadows often will go like behind where we've drawn these tufts because the tufts are kind of representing where a highlight meets a shadow. Right here, there's a shadow right next to the eye. And then it goes out from there. And same with right here, it kind of has a shadow right next to the eye. So I'm going to do the reddish brown in here. And then I'd say under this mouth is even darker than we've done it. Did you enjoy reading because of Winn-Dixie? Yeah, it's really good. You love dogs too. Oh, I almost forgot. This is actually dark right here. <laughs> How did I forget that? Now I think it's almost time for you and I to switch pencils and I'll go through and do my tan strokes while you do some darker shadows. Does that sound like a good plan? Mm -hmm. Let me sharpen this for you. Oh yeah, that's good. So yeah, just keep thinking about trying to make it look like fur and have it going the direction your tufts of hair were drawn and following that pattern. And if you need time to catch up to us course, feel free to pause the video. I'm going to do a bit more gray. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to lightly draw my gray strokes so that instead of it being a shadow, it's just laying down a nice light gray first stroke. Um, you forgot that spot right there. You could do that. It's a little bit of tan and a little bit of this color. Oh, you're fine. Do I need more yellow spots in here since I have a few? No, it's fine. Hmm. 
often things will have like yellow rims along the top, so I think I might do a little bit more yellow. Okay, what do you think? It's really good. You think we're done? Thank you so much for drawing with us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.